all right what's up with the youtube fam so listen man okay i'm back again with another video and this right here is just basically an update on the whole situation with kanika jenkins now shout out to all of y'all who made it to this video because youtube not going to promote this a lot of people not going to see this so if you're rocking with the channel hit the like button so certain people can see certain things about this situation right here and uh yeah man you know let's go ahead and get into it so basically everybody knew about kanika jenkins and i want to send my condolences to her family and i want to say r.i.p to her as well you know because the situation is just very sad and it's still wicked and it's something not right about it because it's just so disturbing to my spirit every time i think about it see something pertaining to it or anything like that it just messes with me so i know something foul had to happen in this situation that's just my personal opinion i'm not here to argue with you or nobody else something foul did happen to her and i just hate that they had to happen to her now you know her family initially wanted 50 million dollars i think for a wrongful death lawsuit or something like that you know and they ultimately ended up getting some type of award for this situation reward or whatever you want to word it they got paid they reached a settlement in this situation now i'm pretty sure it's a multi-million dollar one but we really just don't know just yet until we get bona fide facts some people probably are trying to give us a dollar amount but really it's just not known to the public just yet now i don't know when y'all gonna see this video but as of now i looked high and low and i couldn't find the dollar amount which it really don't matter because i'm tired of them paying people hush money in these situations instead of figuring out what the hell going on or telling you what the hell going on. Also breaking this afternoon, we are learning the family of a 19 year old woman who died of hypothermia inside a hotel freezer has reached a settlement agreement. You may recall Kanika Jenkins was found at a walk-in freezer at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont back in 2017. Jenkins went missing during a party early in the morning of September 9th. She wasn't found until the following day. The Cook County Medical Examiner ruled accident from hypothermia. Her family sued the hotel for $50 million for negligence, saying they failed to conduct a proper search. Details of the settlement have not been made public. Now, I found the old video clip where the family were, they were stating that they didn't get to see all the video footage that was initially supposed to be presented to them. Now, with that being said, you already know something is wrong. 36 hours of footage missing, you know, it just don't sit right with me at all, you know. But I do want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this situation. Do y'all feel like that they should have just went ahead and accepted this money? Which I feel like they should anyway, regardless. Or do y'all feel like they should have kept fighting a little bit harder to get more information? Now, I'm not saying that they haven't been fighting because I know that they have. I just feel like that, you know, when it comes to situations like this, they shouldn't let it die out. And I feel like a lot of us, you know, should just stay on their ass about it, you know. Shit, you see I'm doing a video about it. I could have just brushed over this. And I already told you that people not even going to, you know, well, YouTube not going to let this be seen by a lot of people. But it is what it is. But I'm going to bring y'all that clip that I was telling y'all about. And I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on it. Do y'all think that that is very strange? Man, and when y'all watch this... Really leave comments in the comment section because I'm going to be watching and I want to know what y'all got to say about this. Let's get into this video clip though. Also breaking tonight, hours of new video are released revealing more about a woman found in a hotel freezer. CBS 2's Andrea Vegas joins us now. So you poured through this video. What is it showing us? 36 hours of video and this was just released to us a few hours ago. This video shows Kanika Jenkins walking into the kitchen, but we never see her entering the freezer. And tonight, that is why her family is not satisfied with the theory that she walked into the freezer on her own. Surveillance video shows Kanika Jenkins walking with friends at the Crown Plaza Hotel early Saturday morning. We see her a few hours later by herself. At one point, she stumbles out of an elevator. Later, she repeatedly hits the wall walking down this hallway. Another camera catches her running into a stairwell and then catching her fall. Video time codes appear to show Kanika roaming the hotel for over an hour. She's trying to find her way and no one from Crown Plaza Hotel responds to her. Around 3.30 a.m., Kanika enters a lower level kitchen in the hotel. She walks out of frame, but then she's captured walking here on another camera. But we still don't see her entering the freezer. I want to see all. Oh. I want to see her actually walking into this freezer and closing us up within this freezer. I want all of the recordings, all of the communications, all of the reports, the statements that were taken. I want to know the individuals that were there. Tonight, Rosemont police say 31 people were at the party with Kanika inside the hotel room, booked with a fraudulent credit card. Police say they're still trying to identify and find 15 of the partygoers. 
Meanwhile, autopsy and toxicology results have yet to be released. What? So this was way, way back in the day, and I know a lot of information has been released. I'm just bringing this to y'all so y'all can actually see how confusing shit was at the time, how much plan was being done at the time, and a lot of their video footage was edited. And a lot of things were removed and certain things like that. And everything I'm saying in this video is allegedly, but we know what the hell is going on. And, you know, certain things probably have been seen, but I'm pretty sure they didn't get the full extent of every single thing that took place that night. It's just not something that, that I'm that I'm going to believe and I'm not going to sit there and let them mind fuck me. I know what's going on and I'm pretty sure that it was some foul play in this. But let's get back into it. Night is Kanika Day. That's where we need to be. We will get to the bottom of it. We will only go to where the facts lead us. Kanika's family attorneys say they will be conducting their own independent investigation. They're also considering a second autopsy. Robin Erica, that's because there's still a lot of unanswered questions tonight. You know, it's, it's, it's curious because we heard that the authorities were going to show the family the 36 hours of surveillance tape. But clearly, they haven't seen it yet. Yeah, at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, they said they had not seen that video. and They've been requesting it for about 48 hours. Mm. All right, Audrina, thank you. Now, you know, I did see where they didn't see all the footage, and I did see where they did see the footage. I really don't know. They haven't issued a statement about that particularly, but I'm pretty sure that they didn't see every single thing because of some of the things that we seen back in the day was tampered with. It was shit bouncing all over the screen. You can see different shit popping up here. All type of stuff was happening. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we never really just seen what the hell really took place with this situation. But overall, man, I'm glad that they're getting some type of closure, some type of justice. But no matter what they give her, no dollar amount will be enough to bring back that baby. And it won't be enough to make sure that she can sleep good at night. Because if this is bothering my spirit, my soul, and everything like that, I'm pretty sure it's doing it to her times 50. Because that's her blood. She created that, you know. The child, that beautiful child, you know. I don't, don't want to just say that. You know, I got to have some type of respect. You feel me? So, yeah. But overall, that's all I got to say about the situation. Let's try to get this video out to the people. Hit the like button if you're rocking with me. And it is what it is. Just as for Kanika. And I hate that it had to happen like this. And y'all be careful out there when y'all out here dealing with different people and going to different places and stuff like this. Stay aware. And to be aware is to be alive. Keep you a weapon. Keep you some type of something around you to make sure that you are okay and safe in these type of situations. Because people are taking people's lives at a alarming rate. And it's not slowing down. So, yeah, make sure y'all stay 10 toes ahead of every situation. But overall, that's all I got to say. I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. And I will be in the comment section. Now, I'll be trying to come back, back to all of y'all. But it'd be sometimes, it'd be, it'd be upwards of a thousand people to thousands of people. So it'd be kind of hard for me to say something back to everybody. But for the first, you know, hours or so in a couple of days later, I will be in the comment section checking. So, yeah, let's talk about it. But I'll holler at y'all later. If y'all made this in the end, I appreciate y'all. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're rocking with the channel. And I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right.